Hello everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play. Today, I decided to cover a game that I found God knows when. I literally just realized this file was still on my desktop today. And it, it was a pretty fun game. I found it while I was looking for a Titanic mod, I think. I want to say it was a Titanic mod. Anyway, this is Ship Sandbox Alpha 1.2, also known as sinking simulator and uh, this game is pretty simplistic I have I could not tell you who made it um, I can link you to the download if you do get curious about it but um, the basic objective of the game is literally to it's a it's a point and click you point and click break parts of the ship um, that's pretty much all there is to it I mean it's not difficult uh, the different colored parts of the ship indicate, you know, different stuff. I mean, like, this is iron, this is an air pocket, um, the two brown things are rope, and that is... I'm, I'm assuming that's just for color effect, I don't know what black is. But, uh, and then of course blue is for water, and you know, uh, you can punch a hole in the bottom of the ship, and it's going to fill with water! Which... I mean, it, it's got a cool, it's got a cool design behind it. Uh, okay, I take it back. The black part is basically just a blocker because this is going to block off the water until it gets over the top. And uh, the the game plays to odd demographic. You, you, you know, if the ship bends, it's gonna break, kind of thing. Uh, oh, help me! You can see all the little people. I mean, you could just kind of imagine all the little people sitting on the ship. Ah, the ship is sinking. Help me! Help me! Yeah, I, d I don't want to help you. I am sinking your ship. <laughs> you are all dead. But, um, you can change the settings of the ship, uh, the strength of the ship's hull so it doesn't break as easily. Buoyancy, you can make it float. Uh, I keep mine set to 5 just because it's pretty much realistic. I usually keep my wave height set to 2. Water pressure, I have not figured out what this does yet. I always turn it up to 10 and then the ocean depth just makes it a really big freaking ocean. Uh, highlight stress... Highlight stress, um, if, this part, if a part of the ship becomes really stressed to the point where it's about to break, it'll turn red, and I will show that to you in a second. The quick water fix basically just makes the ship see-through. That's all I figured it does. I don't really know that. I don't know what it does, but that's what I'm going to say it does, because that's how I assume it works. Anyway, you can close this. Uh, when you get the game, it'll give you a file, and it have, it'll have all this, all these really cool uh, little pre-ship load things, and uh, it has the Titanic, submarine, steel, uh, steel ship, iron ship, another iron ship, uh, steamboat, tanker ship, another ship, and I mean, it's got it's got a bunch of different ships on here. And it's got these little iron balls, and they break. It's really weird. Just watch this. Watch this. Watch. I mean, watch. They just they get. Woo, 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 woo. I mean, it looks like something out of Star Fox, like, like the final boss, where his whole, where his brain just kind of shakes, and when you shoot it up, it shakes violently, and he's like, "Oh, if you, if I go down, I'm taking with me." <laughs> you know, it's 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 that kind of thing. I don't totally understand. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna load the Titanic because that's basically what I got the game for. Um, it's just, it's going to bounce there. Uh, I will try and show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, the grab tool, the smash tool, lets you break the ship. That's, that's what it does. Uh, the grab tool lets you grab the ship and literally you can pull it around. You can pull it left, you can pull it right, you can pull it up, you can pull it down. And that's literally the whole point of it. And I'm try I'm going to try and show you guys what I'm talking about when I'm talking about stress levels on the ship's hull. If you look at the bottom of the well, crap. There, right there by the funnels. Oh my god. Right there by the funnels you can see it turning red. If you're watching the video, it, it'll make more sense. Um those funnels are going to be the first things to go, I promise. But uh yeah, yeehaw, right of cowboy. Titanic didn't sink from an iceberg, man. God just decided to shake things up a bit. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> but um I mean it's it, it's an interesting game. I, I you know what it's taking too long. Smash Halt Smash Mwah! Fill the whole ship full of water. Anyway, this is gonna be a short video because there's really there's not enough files to go through. I mean the tanker ship if you freaking if you destroy everything around the tanks without destroying the tank themselves, don't split the tanks. They won't fill with water. That's basically how that works. And I, I, I mean, the dynamic of that is pretty cool. The whole game in itself, I mean, is, it's, it's, it's okay. It's well designed. I'll say that much. It's uh, the whole idea behind, you know, the different colors designating different ship parts and stuff. And they do have a website, and I will try and find that and link that for you guys where you can design your own ship based on the colors. I lied. I take that back. Uh, if you go on MS Paint, uh, you do have to find a... you have to find a color chart. Basically, uh, if you Google the color chart for Ship Simulator, um, and then you can just use those colors and build your ship, and you should be able to use it in the game. I have not honestly gotten that to work, but like I said, I have not messed with it a whole lot. If you're willing to put down the time to mess with it and play around with it, oh crap, there it goes. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, it's just going to split that tiny bit. Ah, you suck. Okay. Um, if you're willing to put in the time to make your own ship, congratulations. I wish you the best of luck. I'm not going to. Uh, this game, I won't lie, if it's just something to do when you're piddling, when you're piddling around, you got nothing else to do, this is a great game. It's pretty entertaining. Uh, overall, as a rating, rating wise, I would give it a like I would give it like a five or a six, honestly, because unless you're like a ship fan or you're bored or you just like to see stuff sink, which I won't lie, I love to watch stuff sink. Um, this is not the kind of game you want to play. But that is literally all I'm. This that's literally all I have time to show you. If you want to. I mean, oh, wait, I lied. Okay, you don't even have to Google it. They give you a materials template, like, right here. And I just freaking loaded into the game! God, I'm a derp. Okay. Um, but they give you all these different ships, and uh, I'll let you mess around with them. You know, kind of see what you can do with them. Maybe you make your own videos. I mean, you know, if that's your thing, cool beans. Uh, but, anyway, that is all the time that I ha Or, that is... Yes, that is... That is all the time that I have time for. That is all that I have time for. Uh, if you like to see little games like this, you know, please like, leave a comment. Uh, if you don't like to see games like this, you know, I would appreciate those comments. Give me your polite criticisms. Let me know, you know, hey, bro, this is not what I want to see. This is boring as crap. Um, but, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!